So when I first brought photobiomodulation into my practice, I did it by doing a lot of public speaking. And I would, do, I would hold seminars or, or classes, if you will, and I would explain this at great length. The first few that I did were about two hours long, and I showed them a cross-section of the, the research in peer-reviewed literature, and I just sort of broke it down and explained it mechanistically. I found that early on, if people didn't have a deep understanding of how it would work, they either wouldn't come in because it sounds too simple or too good to be true, that light therapy or, or that fo you know, photons of light could actually make these changes. And also, they would drop off too soon if they didn't see changes in a week or two. And a lot of people do see changes in a week or two or even the first day. But I found the only way I could have good compliance is if they had a deeper understanding of how it was working and the physiological impacts that it had on a cellular level or a tissue level. And uh, I've not had any problems with, like absolutely no problems with compliance because of that. Um, now, uh, having had it for a year and a half, it, in terms of Novothor, it really sells itself for the most part. People are coming in, they're calling the office because they've heard about this therapy and they're being referred by people from work or from church or it's a family member um, who just are singing its praises. And so now they're coming in and they're just ready to go. And even in those cases, I still do, uh, every week, I just do a brief um, sort of a new patient orientation or introductory class in my office. And I just, I don't do a two hour uh, sort of uh, lecture about photobiomodulation, but I, I do 10, 15 minutes as far as I just cover the broad strokes. And, uh, and I just tell them that if they want to see the literature that I'm referring to, then I'll, it's, it's provided uh, sort of upon request. And, uh, and that seems, that, that, works, that works just fine. People understand basically the things that I want them to take away are, are the main things are. It's always beneficial. It will always have a positive effect on a, on a cellular level or just a full body physiological level. And that there are no risks. There are no, there, it's completely safe. We don't do it on pregnant women and that's the only kind of contraindication because we don't know what, what that would do. But otherwise, for anyone who's not pregnant uh, and they're able to get in and out of the pod, they do it. So at this point, I recommend it to 100% of my patients. I don't think, well, I should just counter that and say, uh, there might be young children that, that come in with uh, different conditions that are more metabolic issues. And, and, uh, but even that, if they're not afraid of it and they're okay to get in it, uh, why not? It's only, gonna, it's only gonna help, it's never gonna hurt. But absolutely, every adult that's coming in for you know, manipulative therapy, soft tissue uh, uh, work or what have you, or, or even exercise rehabilitation, every single one of them should do it. And so it's recommended universally. It's one of the things that I think is hard to explain when you first start doing this kind of therapy is when people ask me, even in, in when I'm just out in public around town, and they ask, uh, you know, so who, who should do that? My answer is truthfully, I mean, everybody, all adults anyways, even just as a strategy for healthy aging. I mean, the mitigation of inflammation and oxidative stress, I mean, these are the things that, uh, that, that cause us to age poorly or even at an accelerated rate. And so knowing that you're always getting that benefit, it doesn't make any sense to me not to do it. I know that I personally will do it for the rest of my life, absolutely. And I'm not doing it for symptomatic relief. Although I might add at, at that, when I first got my Novothor, I was still dealing with a pretty uh, large disc herniation in my neck. And I had treated myself using my handheld laser with great success. I was able to avoid surgery. Um, but I had residual effects in my left arm, you know, some areas of exquisite tenderness, and I even had a loss of strength still at the time that I got my Novothor. And when I first got it, I started using it three times a week, and within about the first four or five weeks, that disappeared, and it's never come back. And so I know for my own benefit, my family in Canada uh, flies down here to, to use the Novothor uh, because there's nothing, there's nothing available in my hometown. So. Uh, so that might give you an idea of how, <laughs> what a proponent I am uh, in terms of its uh, utility.